This is a show you don't want to miss. Thanks, Joanne. It's Google time. Good evening. Welcome to Widener News. I am your host, Kanisha Pinckney. And I am your co-host, Danielle Cardona. Are you bored on campus, have nothing exciting to do on weekdays or weekends? Well, take advantage of the Pride Activity Council and all the activities they provide on campus. Pride Activity Council is a student-run organization that strives to enhance students' campus life, interpersonal skills, and be active and involved. Here are some events to look out for. Are you a coffee drinker and have love for music? Come enjoy a hot beverage and acoustic guitar performance on Thursday, February 12th from 8 to 10 p.m. in the University Center Lover Level Lounge featuring Jeff LeBlanc. Are you addicted to the recent app known as Trivia Crack? Test your trivia knowledge on Friday, February 20th from 7 to 9 p.m. in the University Center Room A as you battle with Delta Phi Epsilon and Widener Dance Company. Want more information in regards to the Pride Activities Council? Contact them by their email, phone number, check out their website, or stop by their office located in the Office of Student Life in the University Center. Attention all comm students. Are you interested in sports? On February 9th, the Sports Speaker Series will hold a Meet the Young Sport Management Professionals with Samantha, with Samantha I'm sorry, Allgood, who worked in community relations for the Philadelphia Eagles. This event will take place in Quick 109. If sports is not your thing, there will also be a criminal justice career fair in Latham Hall at the same time. There are plenty of opportunities for comm students to network with government agencies. Speaking about sports, next week the Widener men's basketball team will be in two tough battles as they take on Hood in Maryland on February 11th and Alvernia on February 14th. Last time the Pride played Hood, they lost a nail-biter 77-76. Sardia Sambo recorded a double-double with 17 points and 10 rebounds and will look to repeat that performance against the Blazers. On the 14th, the Pride will host the Alvernia Crusaders at the Swartz Center. In the previous matchup between these two teams, the Pride got hammered 86-65. Greg Lawson will look to repeat his performance after securing nine rebounds last matchup, as the Pride will look to keep Harrison Dale in his 15 points a game in check. Women's basketball will also be battling Hood and Alvernia on those dates as well. Freshman sensation Allison Gallagher will look to help bolster the club's 9-11 record with her 15 points a game. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and for all of you hopeless lovers out there that may have forgotten to pick up a little gift that shows you are thinking about them, lucky for you, Widener has you covered. Widener's Residence Hall Association and IGC will be outside of the CAF February 9th to February 13th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. selling candy and flowers. A variety of colors will be offered, red, pink, white, and blue. If you are looking to be extra romantic and anonymous, you can pay an extra small fee to have them delivered to the receiver's door. Be sure to stop by on your way to lunch and check it out. Nothing to do on a Wednesday night? Well, grab a group of friends and head to the atrium February 11th from 7 to 9 p.m. The Residence Hall Association and the Office of Student Life will be hosting a Sweets and Sips Valentine's event. There will be a DJ playing some of your favorite music, delicious food, and some Valentine's related games where prizes will be awarded. I hope everyone enjoys their Valentine's Day week and even a better Valentine's Day. And always remember, all you need is love, but a little chocolate now and then doesn't hurt. Well, that's all for today. Tune in next time for the latest campus news. And again, I am your host, Kanisha Pinkney. And I am your co-host, Danielle Cardona. Enjoy the rest of your day.